Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger. Happy Friday, March 11th. You know the drill. Time for another store review. Hey, sorry about my voice. Fighting a little bit of a head cold. I know, jumped to COVID straight away. Hopefully that's not it. Only symptoms yesterday, sore throat. Today, woke up, just congestion. So those are my only symptoms. So I'm hoping it's just a head cold. But you will notice on my desktop the pop-up offer for the gold box, which is one of the best deals to buying gold. 16,000 gold for 20 bucks. Make sure you fill that up. And this one is by killing other tanks. The more tanks you kill, the faster you're going to fill this up. Your offer may be a little bit different depending on how much money you've spent lately, but still, one of the best deals in the game. <clears throat> we will jump on over here to the store. I learned last week uh, the individual offers mostly are the same for everyone, but it appeared that not everyone had the Skoda T56 for straight up 100 bucks, which obviously said was a lot of money to be basically the first investors in this tank the first time it's been for sale but very unique that wargaming did it this way because most of the times when they bring a new tank into the game lately it is in crates only the interesting thing is is if you go the route of gambling here since you have to buy 25 charms you're gonna be at around a hundred dollars anyway if you have horrible luck but obviously you're going to come away with a lot more of items if you purchase it this way and go on the gambling route because you're going to end up with premium time and some gold and, and whatnot for that hundred dollars. So just keep that in mind. Not that I am recommending spending over a hundred dollars for a tank because I am not. Let us then drop down to new offer, subscription for the T21. Uh, basically, this looks like all you have to do is collect 200 parts to get the T21 tank. So you're just going to have to come in. You're going to have to play a lot of games here and get yourself all the way up to level 10. Let's see. It doesn't. Receive three mastery badges of class three or higher. Seems pretty straightforward. And that is just the part of the certificate. What's the last one here? Two masters of class two, one of class one. So I'm assuming <clears throat> that once you complete that, then you move up on. And you can also buy. Nope, that's the premium pass. Sorry. You can buy 20 pieces for 525 gold. So two levels there. All right. This is the battle pass. We're halfway through the month right now. I do have the tank in my garage, which we talked about last week. If you want to know a bit more about it, um, I'll try to do a review this weekend on it. Very slow. I don't like the mobility. Don't like the gun, but it does have great armor. So if that's the play style you like, then this is a good battle pass tank for you. I'll go ahead and talk about the WZ 1115 a container here because it is also for sale straight up in the store. But this one gives you, if you look on the information, a 20% chance of getting the tank or if you don't get a one in five chance you're going to end up with five thousand gold and it's going to cost you ten dollars so you're going to get 500 gold per dollar which is not a horrible deal in the long run so if you're kind of on the fence about the wz111 <clears throat> this is a good way to either get a tank or get some gold as compensation i think the rest of the tanks here we'll talk about when we get into the, yeah, so there's a WZ straight up, 20,000 gold. 
<laughs> to see that they think that it's worth 36,000, uh, I'm just kind of laughing here. Um, 20,000 gold. If you want to buy the tank straight up, it does come with one order that if you win 50 battles, you get five mystery crates. So, yeah, I, I, I'm not in love with this tank. Um, it's got a very good armor profile, but it's just not my favorite play, play style. It's a little on the slow side. The gun's not extremely accurate. Um, and as far as tier 10s goes, you've got so many better heavy tanks at tier 10. We went through all of the resources last week, so I'm not going to do it again this week. Super Conk, just a few days left. To say that this is only 5,000 more gold, you can buy it here without the camo for the same price. Super Conk all day long over the WZ111, guys. That's my opinion as just how this tank plays compared to this one. It seems to be a little bit more of a lower profile on the WZ, making it a little bit more difficult to get into those positions. Super Conk with the really nice gun depression lets you play on those hills, ridge lines, and just seems to be a better gun overall. E25, one of those fun little tanks. I feel like it's almost like a must own in the game. It's only tier 7. It's a tank destroyer. It is super fast. It gets around the battlefield quite well. I had a mission to get a level 1. It was actually an order that popped up. And I jumped into this tank and played three games. The first two games, uh, 2,600 damage, 3,000 damage, both of them losses. Teams were horrible. And then 2,500 damage in the third game. So three really amazing games. You have to know how to play it. Uh, you want to be on the outside of the map. Make sure you're not spotted. This thing's got amazing camo rating. If you can do that, you can just pop shots all day long with this tank. And then when you are spotted, you can relocate really quickly and move to another advantage point to get those shots going off. 14 days of premium time, 25 5x can boosters there for seven bucks it's a fun tank super pershing is still for sale two days left i think we talked about this last week either a twelve dollar option or a five thousand five hundred option it's a tier eight medium tank to me it's really slow um oh i already have it 2.2 .2 million and I, and I just don't like it but you can see here this gray area, it's got spaced armor, makes it very difficult to shoot spaced armor on the turret. So newer players have a very hard time figuring out how to pen this. Uh, seasoned players know that you can pen the hatch or the side cheeks. So it, it just the armor is decent, not great. Now here's a new pairing of tanks here we've got the t23 e3 which is a tier 7 american medium tank this tank has decent mobility very good in reverse actually let's see what it says i think it's 30 30 kilometers per hour in reverse and it has a very high rate of uh of shooting Hit points, 1,300. Uh, damage per minute, 2,600. That's pretty high for a Tier 8 medium tank. See, 168, you're only doing 160 damage. Aim time, 3.7. Dispersion, 0.3. Uh, so, it's very unique to me in that regard as far as a very fast-firing gun. And it really catches you off guard, I think. You don't expect to be able to fire that fast in the tank. T26E5, um, also known as the Sheriff if you have the premium camo on it, is a tier 8 heavy tank. The interesting thing, it doesn't have that, uh, yeah it does, 10 degrees of gun depression. I think it was the E3 only has 6 degrees of gun depression, which is kind of interesting. But this tank has really nice turret armor. But it is really slow, in my opinion. Let's see here. 20 kilometers. Oh, no, that's 
40 kilometers per hour is your top speed, 15 in reverse. So it, I find it difficult to get into those advantageous positions, uh, and once you're caught out, it's hard to relocate into uh, a better position. But it's still a very solid tank because of its armor profile, but not as good as the Shark. You can buy the T23E3 by itself for 3,500 gold or the T26E5 for 6,500 gold. Not bad deals on both of those. And I believe the T23E3 sold out in auction this year for 4,500. So this is a good deal for this tank. Steel Sniper still around. <clears throat> Not my favorite uh Matt pairing of tanks, I really do not like the AT-15A because of its lack of speed. The Turtle's a little bit better, not much. You can buy those individually. 12,500 is still steep for a tier 8. Marginally okay tank. And then, of course, the Defenders. We talked about these at length. They've been for sale recently. So I'm not going to rehash all of the information on the Defenders. Right now, my favorite Defender is the Mark I, followed by the AMX. And then it would be probably a toss-up between these two tanks, which I feel are just a little bit too slow to be extremely effective in all battle situations. Don't get me wrong, they're solid tanks, both with the auto reloaders, but they just have a really long reload between shells, like in the neighborhood of like six seconds. So it's it's difficult, I think, with the meta to play both of these tanks extremely well these days and be able to carry. One last new low tier tank for five dollars, you're gonna get a collect them all container which has a five percent drop chance of a tank. The SU-76I and the BTSV, both Tier 3 Soviet tanks. BTSV, back when playing Tier 3, Tier 4 was actually fun, this was a pretty fun little tank because it's got nice speed to it. I don't know if they've knocked 62 kilometers per hour. This thing can run around. And because of all of the sloped armor, you'd get people shooting and bouncing off you all day long. And it was a fun tank to play back then. The SU-76I is probably going to drive you crazy with dispersion, 0.38. But, again, another kind of collector, decent uh, credit coefficients on these tanks. And then if you don't like them, you can obviously sell them for gold, a thousand each. Uh, to recoup some of that money you spent. So, again, I think we've been over the gold and premium time enough here. Make sure that you're opening your daily containers. And uh, we've got French containers. We've got the Skoda T56 containers. We've got 12 Lucky 7s containers, uh, which has these tanks in it with a 7% drop chance. Otherwise, it looks like just boosters. So, again, not a great deal. I would love to see some gold in there. But that wraps up the store, guys. Hope you're feeling better than I am. And uh, remember to get educated, not finger. Little finger out.